Well, thanks for joining us at this noon hour. I'm Tamika Artiston for Julie Dolan. Breaking at noon, a vicious attack. That is just how Cincinnati's police chief described what happened to one of his officers. That officer shot and killed the suspect who attacked him in Government Square over the weekend. Now, on your sides, Jordan Burgess is live now with the answers that we're still trying to get about that shooting. Hey, Jordan, what can you tell us? Well, the chief just finished talking about that shooting minutes ago here at headquarters. Now, he says that his officer was defending himself, but he wasn't able to show us the video of that because of a subpoena by the Hamilton County prosecutor. But Chief Elliot Isaac did go through what happened leading up to that shooting and then the killing of 25 year old Jawari Porter in Government Square. Now, he says Porter ran at two officers with a knife, attacking Officer Anthony Brucato before he could even get out of his car. Now, the chief says Brucato fired six times, killing Porter. Now, Brucato has been with the department for 25 years. The officer with him, Patrick Galligan, a 30 year police veteran, had run around from the passenger side to try to help. Now, the officers were after Porter because they say he was caught on video robbing a Kroger on Vine Street that morning, threatening a security guard with a knife on his way out. The chief left little doubt that he feels his officer acted properly. This was a vicious, violent attack on the officer, and it's captured on video. And when, as soon as we're able to release that, we will do so. And we're working right now to find out from the Hamilton County prosecutor when that video of the attack and also video from the robbery at Kroger will be released. In the meantime, the chief says that Officer Bricado suffered only minor injuries. He's on paid leave right now. Reporting live, Jordan Burgess, not on your side.